Hi guys, all you YouTuber fans out there. Um, I need to clarify, and today we're going to talk about dreams, more into that. I think you guys want to hear more about dreams. I hope so. Well, this is the topic. Nightmares, what they mean to you. Well, nightmares have all kinds of meaning, and they're terrifying, no matter what. So, I'm going to tell you the most common nightmares people have. Most everyone in the planet dreams. Either we have nightmares or not nice. We all have nightmares. And we don't want to admit it, do we? So, let's understand our nightmares so we don't go denied we have them. Because, you know, let's face it. We have a bad day, we argue, we have conflict, and then it goes into our dreams. So let's find out what they all mean. Very important. Dreaming about falling. That's a tough one. I dream a lot about falling. I feel like I'm falling when I fall asleep, and I don't fall, but it creeps me right out because then I wake up thinking I fell, but I didn't. It's like, oh my god, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall. And then I wake up, and I'm okay, but it scares me. Okay, to dream about falling means there's something going on in your life. You're under stress, and your life is spiraled down a bad path or out of control. So you feel like you're falling. You're not getting anywhere. So falling is a sign of stress. Because when you're under stress, you fall. You fall into a different kind of category. I can't explain it too much. But if, you know, you need to ask a doctor more about falling dreams. But they're common nightmares or dreams or whatever. Another common nightmare that people have is losing their teeth. Oh my god. I can tell you more. Losing your teeth is a sign of feeling of being judged. You're feeling stressed and you feel everyone around you is putting pressure on you. Your parents, everyone is putting pressure on you. So your teeth fall out because your teeth can't take it. So yeah, they're called teeth dreams. They're very creepy because it also has to do with dental stress. You should always ask a professional what they mean. But if you're dreaming a lot about your teeth falling out, that's pretty serious, man. Uh, I, I would check your teeth, maybe. Or go see a dentist, maybe. Or you're under stress. That's what it means. You're under the fear of being judged. Oh, another dream that people may have. And it's a scary dream to think about it is being imprisoned, incarcerated dreams. To dream about being incarcerated. To dream about being incarcerated means you feel like you're going to be imprisoned somehow, or you're under captive, or someone around you isn't right, or your life has spiraled down a bad path and you took a guilt trip. So it means you're under a lot of stress, and you feel trapped, and you feel you can't escape this stress. You have to try to deal with it. So you have to figure out what it means to you being in prison. It could mean that you could get imprisoned in real life, and you may not. So you have to think about your choices you make in life. Also, it could mean that you were down a bad path in life. Another dream, uh, spiders. Oh my god, spider dreams. I don't want to know. I'm not a big fan of spiders because they're kind of ugly looking. Like they have long legs and they're creepy. Um, spider dreams means that someone around you is manipulating you or you feel you're being the manip manip manipulative one or you're under manipulation. Either it's someone in your life who's manipulating you, or you're being the manipulative one. So you have to figure out 
if this person's worth being around. Because it means that there's someone in your life who's being manipulative. Now, maybe it's you, maybe it's someone, but you got to figure out your life again. Maybe put your life together or something. Another dream you may have is an apoplex. An apoplex dreams means you had a conflict with someone. Either you had a conflict with your father or someone in your life you had a conflict with. It could be anyone. And then it spilled into your waking life, into your dream. And then you dreamt about it. So it means you're under a lot of stress and you feel you're under war or you're under conflict with someone that's not going to get over and you have to try to figure out if this person in your life is going to make you stressed. So all it is is trying to tell you something. Sometimes we don't like being told things. But we gotta hear them anyways. Like if you're gonna buy a new TV, you need advice, do you? Okay. Oh. Okay, my dad told me this dream he had. He had a dream that he was walking Elvira. And this was a weird dream that Elvira took off and went on the neighbors. And he said one of the neighbors caught Elvira and brought her back. And it was the strangest dream that he managed to call her and she came back. And it had to do with loyalties. I can't give names out in the dream, but it was about loyalties because a dog resembles loyalty, being loyal to you. A dog is your loyal friend and will you'll always trust you no matter what you do wrong and will be there with you. So yes, it's about loyalties, the dream my dad had. So. Another dream you may have is a very terrifying fact, and its reality is sleep paralysis. It's the most terrifying nightmare you can ever have. It is so scary, you may feel like your life is over. Sleep paralysis, let me tell you about it. And it's really, really scary, and you may not want to have it, but reality is you could have it. One out of every person may get sleep paralysis once in their lifetime. It's a terrifying nightmare you do not want to have. But what happens is when you have sleep paralysis, it's like this. Part of your body is awake and you can't move. You can't move an inch. Your muscles, your legs, your body is trapped on the bed. But you can only move your eyes and wiggle your toes. But when you turn around, you can't turn around. You can't even pull yourself up. It's so scary that this demon or um, shadow person is holding you back. And you see shadow people too when you have it. Because they're all around you. It's really scary. I personally don't want to get it. I hope I never get it, and i am probably not had it yet. But that doesn't mean I won't. And that happens around REM hour, about 2 to like 5 in the morning. It will last an hour, and it's terrifying when you get it. So please, try not to get sleep paralysis. I mean, it's hard not to all these horror movies out and then there's new ones and they're getting more violent now horror movies and more gross so probably they can also affect your dreams oh my god that's creepy another dream you may have is dream about drowning a drowning dream Oh my god, let's think about it. Um, if you dream about drowning, it means that you're falling in a deep state. You feel lost. You feel like no one around you cares that you're the only one in on this planet. And that you feel lonely because nobody cares about you. So the more people do that, you keep drowning and drowning and drowning. And then suddenly you uh, put your hand out to 
ask for help and no one can hear you. It's almost like no one can hear you scream. It's really scary to drown in dreams. You need to talk to someone if you do get them and you'll know the feeling if you get them. It feels like you're drowning, really. It's really scary. Please don't, uh, whatever you do. If you get a nightmare, you should tell someone. It doesn't matter who. Spill your guts. Tell someone. Because honestly, you're under a lot of stress, you'll get nightmares. Um, another nightmare is... Oh God. Okay, I'm going to discuss other dreams. If you dream about flying, it means you're looking for a new choice in life. You're going into a new phase. You're getting into a new adventure. You're exploring your realities, your possibilities. It also is a sign you want to explore more countries and more places. And it means you want to expand your horizon. So that could be a positive dream. Or a negative. To dream about being in a car accident symbolize that you're in a, uh, an, an emotional accident where people around you aren't trusting you, you feel untrustworthy, you feel like nobody cares, that everyone's judging you and people are leaving you out, you just feel so lonely that you want to break down and cry. That's how bad it is. To have dreams like that symbolize there's something wrong in your life that you have to try to figure out what it is and what's troubling you and maybe even talk to someone about it. It doesn't matter. Spill your guts. Tell someone. Please. If you're under stress, you should tell someone. Please. Or call a hotline if you're under stress. That's what I do when I'm under stress and it helps. Talking to someone helps. It may not seem like much, but it will help. Take care, everyone, and have a good day.